We are back. Breakdown Boys, Wade Sensei. Oos. Now, you brought something to my attention this week that I yes. had somehow it had slipped my mind, or it had not slipped my mind, it had just slipped my vision. And listen, right. my peepers are open 24 7. I usually see everything. This one got by me, but Sensei, do you want to explain to me what has happened with Faith Ordway? What is going on with this girl? Yep, so I'm just here scrolling on TikTok like every other person. You know what I'm saying? Except for Wade. But I'm just here. I, don't, I don't be on TikTok, bro. I was over here scrolling. And then I see a video from Faith, and she's wants to, she like posts the question, am I ever going to box again? And she wanted to answer it to her fans. Like, people ask me if I'm going to box again, and I say it's complicated, and here's why. And then she drops like story time on TikTok. Now, we can roll some of the clips on here, um, but long story short, she went through a couple different coaches. The first coach she had, um, and again, this is from what she said, was a little right. bit uh, tougher on her than she expected, um, said some little wild, crazy things. And then, yeah. you know how coaches, and they did this with the guys too, it says like, you should stay away from girls, you know what I mean? No sex or the time, whatever, vice versa. Right. So he makes a comment like that to her, but then suggests that she should use something else or whatever have you. Like it gets weird. Right. Yeah. He was suggesting, and I don't mind saying this, like I'm you guys are like yeah. oh, I don't find saying it. He was suggesting that she use some sort of pleasure device to be able to fend off any sort of yeah. temptation to go and hang out with boys during fight camp or training. This is something yeah. that is on the male side talked about a lot. Like, yeah, you shouldn't be doing certain things during camp. You got to build up your, your testosterone and all this. Yeah. Regardless, super inappropriate. Extremely Awful. inappropriate. That's that's wild to say that as a coach. You know what I'm saying? That's just a wild thing to say for a couple yeah. of reasons. Number one, obviously it's just inappropriate, but like it is said between like coaches and, and guys. Guy but and guy. It, yeah, this is correct. not what you do though. It's not what you do, right? Um, So that, that happened with that coach. And we, okay. we could talk about that in length in comparison to me as, as an instructor in a second. But then the next thing that happened, the other coach was older. And second she coach. had some issues happening uh, with her personal life. Right. So uh, she was having a hard time. I don't know what it was. She didn't talk about it. But one thing led to another. Um, her coach was like a father figure to her, she said, and was someone that she could count on and trust. And she had to go over his place to get out of a situation that she was in. And right. then that coach pretty much hinted at, not pretty much, but hinted at um, going further with her, right? And then she yeah. had to leave that situation. Yeah. So, so that's like, we're talking about not just like in the gym and he like, hey, says something or like opens up about his feelings. We're talking about she's in a vulnerable situation. She was in a vulnerable family situation, reached out to the coach personally for help. Yeah. He provided a place for her to be able to go and, and, and separate herself from that situation. And then when in that vulnerable, vulnerable state, tries to act, tries to make a move on her type thing. Wild. So, so now she's like, I got nowhere to go. Yeah. And you got and this happened before the fight. Before. Like which is obviously it's not good either way. But the fact that it happened before is telling, and it's, it's, it's. If it could be, it's obviously really bad. But what I'm saying is even right. worse because that means she's in an even more vulnerable state, and that's what I'm getting. Right. At. It's it's now turned her into someone that's not focused on the fight. Right. It can't be to the level that she wanted to be. I assume. And also, how does she appreciate love and respect a sport anymore when everyone she's been involved with? has tried to take advantage of her in a very inappropriate, very predatory way that's now, like, this, in her mind, this could be a puck. This is what this sport is, apparently. Right. Which is terrible. It's it's the worst look for combat sports, the worst look for a, a new individual coming into the scene, especially a, a female, especially a woman. Yeah. The reason this is so important, okay, is because she's a female, uh, martial arts, as a martial arts instructor, um, someone who's been teaching for a long time, and a, a combat sport enthusiast. Um, martial arts is intimidating to everybody, but it's even more intimidating to females because most instructors are males and is typically a male-dominated sport um, or activity. And I've one of the things I loved about influencer boxing is that we're starting to get more females yeah. okay, into the scene. And it's been good thus far. We haven't seen anything or heard anything, and then boom, we have this immediately off of her debut fight, 
we got a, a someone who's uh, trying out boxing. She's brand new. She's a star. Has a lot of potential. She's and pretty then we fucking have this, good at it. Yeah. And then boom, terrible situation. And I don't like how it's being sub, you know, under the rug. And the, the reason it bothered Bro, me so much, I didn't even because, see it. I, I know. Didn't even see it. And it wasn't really it talked about. You it was barely me. talked about on Twitter. Some places like reposted. That's it. where I had to see it. After you told me, because I don't know how to work TikTok, I had to find it. I had to go and like search yeah. it out. Yeah. When I found, like again, when I found it was like, how is this? Like you said, how has no one said anything about this? It's crazy to me. Yeah, and when we want fe- we want more female stars because, like, females when it comes to combat sports, the better they get, like. There's the higher potential. Like Ronda Rousey, dude, we never thought it was going to happen. Ronda Rousey came onto the scene, and now there's huge female stars. And they have such a um, an influence on, let's say, people watching because there's not that many people doing it that are females, yeah. Yeah. right? So I get frustrated because 65% of my dojo is females. And that's one of the things I'm most proud of. Like my fiance is an instructor, and she's a big part of that. But we are so important about creating an environment that's welcoming and that's not just it's not less intimidating so that we can produce females who are confident in themselves and feel like they can learn how to protect themselves um, and, and be confident in, in, in combat, right? It's just, it's such a good thing. So I love when I see female influencers competing. But then when you see something like this, like our, our females now watching this and feeling like they don't want to go out there, like I definitely not going to go to a boxing gym down. I definitely don't want to go to a gym or to a school because – if this is happening here to a star, to someone that I that like has almost so potential, that's happening there. What's going to happen to me? And it's in L.A. Sensei, it's in uh, L.A. I don't know who, where or who it was or what gym or anything like that, but every girl that would want to do this, you know, and especially in the United States, most influencers live in L.A. So now yeah. it's even a double down effect. It's like, well, I'm not doing this because who knows what the coaches are like up here, right? That's the it's it's so stupid to believe that. The first experience this girl has is this, the first one. So yeah, I, I hate it, man, and I, because she she she's genuinely talented, and looked like when she was like we saw her just for a little bit, but looked like she enjoyed it, even yeah. after all that craziness, after all that horrible stuff, looked like she genuinely was having fun in there and was like, and she was only training with the, the trainer that was there on fighting day. She was training with for two weeks. I know, bro. Because she had to deal with all that. Like, the fact that she even showed up to fight was is also crazy. I was going to say, how, like, more power to her. She's uh, just stoneward mentally. Like, she just she, she locked in, but just sucks, man. No one should have to go through it. And yeah. like you and said, I feel like, we don't. I feel like it should just be talked about because it's it, it's going to be on platforms like ours Yeah. to make sure we get that out there when people see stuff like this. Like, whoever this damn coach was, I don't even know who he is. When yeah, people see stuff guy. like that. Because if we don't talk about it, it's like, oh, they're handling it. Like, no, this is something that we need to talk about. Because when we get in front of this, other coaches, other pe- other environments are going to hear about it. And maybe maybe this will make Faith feel like, you know what? Someone's, right. got, someone's got my back. Other female influencers who are on the fence will hear this. And may someone they can, they can reach out to. Because this is what yep. happens. Faith was in a situation she had no one to reach out to. So she reached out to her coach. And then her coach sold out. dude. That's where it's dude. like... That it is, makes me think. It makes me think. How many? If this guy is an older gentleman, right? I, I shouldn't even say gentleman. An older fucking scumbag. Yeah. How many times has he done this before? Potentially. I'm not saying that, that there's a correlation there. Right. But listen. Right. I, I'm close to L.A. and, and I, I'm not going to ask Faith to do that. But I, I hope that, that if this has ha- happened to somebody else in this area, that that someone does come forward because I have no problem exposing whoever that is because I, I know people in this scene in this area and that's just not. That's not going to fly here. It shouldn't be flying anywhere, and it's it's flat out just scumbaggery, man. So, it, you know, Faith, if you're watching, if you're listening, you know, obviously, we would love for you to continue doing this if it's something you're passionate about. Um, obviously, if you feel like you don't want to involve yourself in the scene anymore because of the experience you've had, that's fucking completely understandable as well. But there are good coaches out there, guys like Sensei, other individuals that Sensei knows and I'm sure has connections with across the nation. Yeah. We want to make sure this sport is not only welcoming for people, but does exactly what it's supposed to do, make you feel safe. Right? Literally, this is meant to be able to empower somebody. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You know, combat that's, sports that's training is about empowerment yeah. for self. And when you see yeah. that being stripped away or that being attacked or you feel like you can't do that, man, I get heated. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I, it's platforms like ours is what this is what this is for so we can empower people to feel like they want to empower themselves you know whether there's competing and the female scene has so much damn potential i get heated because Dude, i want to just get girls get real too. good and they start cracking and knocking each other out people get out of their seats you know what i'm saying the so, perfect example is faith and l look at that yeah. fight what a fight man what a fight and imagine her you know locked in with a team that she trusts with people that she trusts and has a reason to it's unfortunate, man. But yeah. regardless, hope whatever you know L goes through or is going through with that, that she has someone to reach out to and talk to about it. If not, you know what I'm saying? We're here. Uh, the community's here for her, and um, it just fucking sucks, man. It does. Yeah. But hate to see it. You hate to see it, and it's unfortunate. But whoever is is watching this, if you have stories, if you have in, any you know things that you want to come forward with, or, and or if you're looking for for genuinely good coaches, we also know Anissa and Ian with yes. Raider Clash who have yes. provided, you know, plenty of people with coaches that that are solid in the Los Angeles area, in Florida, New York, like wherever. So hit us up. We'll help you figure it out. But that is our uh, our, our thoughts on this faith thing. Hopefully she's doing all right. Faith, stay strong. It fucking sucks, man. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and I go 